Arsene, oh, so you have Ozil, you have Lacazette, you have Alexis. Who are you going to rest so you can get Eddie Nketiah into the team on Saturday? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I believe that uh, at the moment we'll have uh, leave what's going on well, you know, on both sides, and I think uh, as well that uh, what is great is how quickly you can make an impact, uh, like Eddie did. And uh, what is my job as well is not to rush them too much, but uh, continue to develop them. And I believe that Eddie has a good chance to make a career for us. And that's uh, what I feel responsible for. But maybe not on as a short time scale than you think. It does say so much about the strength and depth, though, in those attacking positions. Yeah, we have uh, uh, many opportunities uh, on the offensive front. And uh, when you think that uh, we had uh, Wilshire, Walcott, Giroud playing and the Welbeck still not back, you know, and uh, the young players, Akpom coming on, has done well as well. We forget about him, but he has done well and uh, Eddie and Ketia as well. And when you think about the, the, the regular first teamers, you have that quality, that quantity, but also that variety in the attacking positions. We have variety and uh, in midfield, uh, creative midfield and up front as well. But uh, what is at stake for us is uh, we have uh, used our flops, you know, uh, already in the start of the scene. We are on a, go on a strong run, so it is important that we continue that. We have responded well at Everton and uh, that we focus uh, to repeat the quality we have shown at Everton and uh, prepare ourselves for a tough game. Because uh, you look at the results over the weekend, last weekend, every game. Uh, it's massively difficult. Interesting stats here. Meza Ozil's created a chance every 19 minutes he's played so far this season. People saying he wasn't in form, but the stats suggest otherwise. He was not right at the start of the season because he had a knee problem, but uh, uh, I didn't rush him back and I thought that the best solution was for him to work hard. And what is at stake for him is to show this kind of form now, uh, week in, week out. I believe he's in a good physical shape and uh, hopefully uh, he will take advantage of that and we will profit, benefit from that. When you think about the variety, you think about Lacazette and Ozil, he's the, exactly the kind of striker who makes those runs in behind perfect for Ozil. Yeah, we can, uh, Lacazette can combine and finish and uh, that is an interesting quality. Let's uh, see, uh, let's make that work and uh, improve as well, you know. I, I am convinced we have room for improvement and uh, uh, that we have to, with the desire uh, to have that, I, I think there is a real room for that. Quarter of the way through the Premier League season, what trends are you seeing so far? Look, at the moment the uh, city looks galloping in front of everybody and uh, uh, they have not been stopped yet and uh, of course uh, uh, you start to see the first trends. Uh, after 10, 12 games, you know, it's an important moment of the season now and uh, uh, it is vital that uh, we get in a run now that is uh, very positive. Yeah, City far ahead at the moment. The other sides seem very closely matched. Yeah, all well, the rest is compact and uh, so the target for every team is basically the same, you know, uh, try to stop City first and uh, of course make uh, yourself positive results. Why have they done so well, City? Is it just a, a, a fast well, start? Well, uh, they are on uh, the run creates the confidence and the confidence creates the run, you know, and uh, uh, overall I, uh, I think uh, they, have, they are an offensive force. They look like they can score goals, many goals, and uh, that certainly uh, uh, creates positiveness in the team.